Amy Benicevic. First game, final set. Well, this game always had the makings. I think all is set now, and suddenly even Izovic seems to be moving quite freely again. Well, he had a, a little discussion there with Bill Norris at the uh, change over the trainer, and the trainer looks as though he's you know, he's come back on again. But I think he's obviously settled that the support, the knee support, is is doing the trick. And Ivan Isovic will have been delighted, I think, to have held that serve, having lost uh, the previous five games in succession. It was a, a vital game that he won. But Edberg was really threatening. And one of the, the things, that, there's the knee brace that has been put on the right knee of Ivan Isovic. I suppose that will just sort of uh, uh, keep the, the knee nice and compact, give it a, just a little bit of extra support and warmth as well. But the volleying of Ivan Isovic really has uh, given Edberg the chance for a second shot so often. He's been very tentative on the volley. And that's an area of the game where he's always been a little bit suspect. So it's Edberg to serve now. Love one. Fifteen. Thirty fifteen. A low return and a good volley from Edberg, but that's a better one. Love 15. Another fine return by Edberg. Look at the placement of that. Love 30. Love 40. And he served two double faults in the match before this, and then two suddenly in this game.
Goran Ivnjezovic does tend to be perhaps a more emotional player than some. Do you think he might be just affected by the atmosphere a little bit? Clearly there is a, a will for Edberg to do well. Um, I'm sure that, that is a factor, but I think, you know, he reacts to the way he's playing so often. Um, and he's a, a perfectionist. He expects very high standards of himself. And when he doesn't produce in the way that he would like to, he gets disenchanted. And I think also, like some of the other tennis players we've seen over the years, when things are going wrong, perhaps with line calls, incidents, these incidents loom larger in his mind than perhaps uh, they should. And it has a, a, a big effect upon him. And that, this is an area which I know Bob Brett, his former coach, is no longer working with and worked so hard at actually Time. getting him to refocus his mind, get his concentration in the right department put these the, the little incidents to one side and, and do what he's so well able to do and that serve well hit the ball hard but as soon as his mind gets distracted mistakes flow and his game falls apart as it seems to have done here and I obviously spoke too soon because that really was a Lovely. superb return from the backhand be awful to play because Edberg did a good it was a good serve but that was uh, a, an unusual shot a hooked forehand Stefan Edberg may be on a farewell tour, but there's no doubt he wants to go out on a high note. Really pumped up. David This is the first of two Scandinavia Croatia clashes this week. Croatia meet Denmark in the European Championships on Sunday. Stefan Edberg, uh, uh, Goran Ivanisovic rather was delighted when his team beat Turkey in the, in the first match. Keen football fan. But, uh, he'll be hoping to sort this one out. Fifteen. Edberg leads three games to two. Well, whatever Ivanisevic does, he does it very quickly. He either loses his serve very quickly, which he did on the game before last to love, or holds his serve 
dynamically as he has did in that last game. It was interesting, the second serve that he served to Edberg was 106 miles an hour, which uh, uh, zipping into the body. Be fascinating to know what his state of mind is at the moment. He's sort of, I think, wondering uh, whether it's all worth it. But I think we must uh, pay tribute to Stefan Edberg, who really has, uh, as always, is a model for any young player watching in terms of the way he plays and the behavior that uh, he displays on court. He is a, a, a great ambassador for the game, always has been. And, uh, thorough sportsman in every sense of the word. So, can he hold on to his serve? That's the task for Stefan Edberg now. He's got the break. All he has to do, theoretically, is just hold his serve and the match is his. Uh, when he gets onto the ball, Ivanisevic, he certainly generates a lot of pace with that backhand. It's a short backswing, but look at the acceleration of that racket. that Ivanisevic was having in the first set is now turning in favor of Edberg. Really having to stretch. Look how quickly he recovers and moves forward to handle that volley. Couple of mistakes on the backhand volley. Could prove costly. So it was only 90 miles an hour, but it was so beautifully placed that the kill was easy. 